Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a cool new unboxing here for you. The, my first unboxing of the new year. Happy 2019. Uh, I'm sure we're going to say 2018 for the next couple months, but it's 2019 now, and this is my first um, real pickup of the year, and that is the uh, Steelbook, Best Buy exclusive Steelbook uh, of Halloween. The 2018 Halloween, or whatever. I think it's just called Halloween, as you can see there. Now, I'm not a huge fan of, well, I like the image itself. But I'm not a huge fan of this lettering. I know this is the lettering, and just like the exact poster, actually, that they used during the, um, uh, what, is it, is it Comic-Con, or whatever it was, in, in, uh, July, or whatever? I think it's, I think that's when it was first debuted. Um, I think, is that right? Just correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was Comic-Con. But this is the poster, um, this is actually by a certain specific artist, and, um, I, he just decided to do something like that. I don't hate it. It's just that I think I'd rather have, on the spine here, the regular Halloween uh, lettering. Um, like on the um, the regular 4K release of this film. I prefer that. But um, this is fine, of course. Um, it looks like... Well, I'm assuming it's matte, but it's got sort of a shine to it around the, the light shine around the Michael Myers character there. So I'm wondering. Um, how about I get the fucking plastic off here? <clears throat> it is bothering me. How was your vacation, guys? I know the last time we made a video, I think, was right before uh, New Year's or so, I think. So it's been a couple weeks. Uh, hopefully we can have a good uh, New Year. But uh, that was fine. Uh, this is definitely matte, yeah. Um, which, at this point, I just expect all to look to be matte. Because it must be easier or something, or... Off real easy. In fact, how do I look at this first? The, uh, the synopsis and stuff. And of course, if you didn't know, um, this film takes place 40 years after the original film in 1978. Um, it is disregarding all the other films. So Halloween 2 through uh, Resurrection, and then also obviously not including Rob, Rob Zombie's films. Those never happened, so... Uh, Laurie Strode is not his sister. They're not related. She was just traumatized by him and just basically spent the last 40 years preparing for his return because um, he was obviously coming back. But anyway, it says, Jamie Lee Curtis returns to iconic role as Laurie Strode, who comes to her final confrontation with Michael Myers, the masked figure who has haunted her since she narrowly escaped his killing spree on Halloween night four decades ago. Master of Ho Horror, Carpenter, shoot, shoot, hold on, let me start again. Master of Horror, John Carpenter, joins forces with director David Gordon Green and producer Jason Bloom for this follow-up to Carpenter's 1978 classic. There's some images and there's a quote, hands down the best Halloween sequel ever. I mean, that's, yeah, that's true. Definitely the best sequel. Of course, that's opinion. I did like Halloween 2 before this, and I liked... I actually like Halloween 3. Apparently no one likes Halloween 3. It has nothing to do with Michael Myers, but I like that film because it's stupid and fun. Um, the other ones, 4, 5, 6, 7... Wait, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? 8 films? And then Rob Zombies are 9 and 10. So this is the 11th film. I don't care for really... Like I just... I like Halloween 2... I like Halloween 3. I don't hate Halloween 4, but I dislike Halloween 5. 4 and 5 I hate because I have the mask. The mask is awful, and it really destroys it for me. But um, 4 and 5, 4 is okay, 5 is not very good. 6 is fucking weird, the cult version one. Uh, the cult of, the cult, I was like Cult of Chucky. It's not the Cult of Chucky. The Cult of Michael Myers and the producer's cut. Neither film make fucking sense, but um, it's, the producer's cut is a bit more interesting. Um, H2O is not a terrible film, in fact, but it's it's very much a 1990s slasher film, and it was it's got that feel to it, and um, I'm not a huge fan of that error, but it's it's okay. What's his face in it? Josh Hardin's in it. Angie Miller Curtis returns, which is cool, and then after that it's um uh the Buster Rhymes one, Resurrection, and I don't care for that film at all. That sucks. And then Halloween, uh, Rob, Rob Zombie's Halloween, I'm, I, whatever. I don't know why I'm going through all the Halloween films. Of course you know what they are. Anyway, who cares? God damn it. Sorry. <clears throat> Those ones suck. 
And it says 4K. I don't have a 4K player. Maybe I will this year. I don't know. It's got the information for that. And then it's got the features here. Deleted extended scenes. Back in Haddonfield. Making Halloween. The original Scream Queen. Sound of Fear. Journey of the Mask. And the Legacy of Halloween. Hmm. And it comes with the Movies Anywhere code. Because it says Universal. And it's an hour and 46 minutes. And rated R, I assume. Right? Yeah. And there's the specs there at the bottom. The usual crap. I'm talking way too much. Sorry. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the cover. I don't see any blemishes. Here's the spine. Like I said, this is... I don't care for that. I wish it was just a regular Halloween font. And then there is the pumpkin, which I think is the pumpkin from the, the beginning of the film or whatever, or the, the title sequence, maybe. That's kind of weird looking, honestly. But There's my digital copy, and then what's this one? Okay. There's Michael Myers on the front of the 4K, and then on the Blu-ray, it's just regular black like Universal does. And there's Louis Strode pointing her gun. Jamie Lee Curtis was excellent in this film, I thought. Um, she was very paranoid and vulnerable, and it was just interesting acting. I liked the film a lot. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like it. I, I know people, fans of the Halloween franchise didn't like it. I wouldn't say fans. A lot of people didn't like it who also like Halloween. And I'm coming to this conclusion that I think a lot of people who didn't like Halloween, this film, and this is just my opinion, I'm just guessing, is a lot of people who really enjoyed the sequels, um didn't like the fact that he wasn't, they weren't related, they, they canceled all that stuff out, and didn't like um, some of the cheesy stuff that happened. Um, there was a predictability to this film that was, you know, it was, you know, it's still a horror film, and there's one specific thing, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, I think we mentioned it in the hangout I did with um, the guys, but, and everyone agrees that there was one twist at the end that was very dumb, and I wish they would not have done it, but that was my main gripe with the film. Um, I thought the acting, for the most part, was fine. Um, you know, for a horror film, whatever. Um, I thought the... Uh, what's her name? Um, well, I can't remember the actress's name. Hold on, let me look. Uh, Judy Greer. I thought she did just fine. Will Patton was good. Andy Matichuk? 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 Is that her name? I thought she did fine. Anyway, but I'm just blabbling now. Blabbling. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, I wish this was glossy or something. I don't know. I do kind of like that shine there, right there, but that's just a metallic look to it. I feel like this is a mistake, but that's. I think it's just part of the the, uh, the lettering. That's kind of bland, but whatever. Better than nothing at the back. A lot of these films, a lot of these steel books, don't have anything on the back, and this is. This is better than that. Anyway, we're all done here. Thanks for watching, guys. <clears throat> um, like I said, this is my first unboxing of the new year. Um, I don't know what else. I've got more steel books I pre-ordered, so you're gonna see more. Um, I'm going to. I, I say this every year, every new year. I'm gonna try to buy less crap. But um, that's that's just not how that goes usually. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm looking forward to more unboxings this year and more steelbooks. Hopefully other things besides steelbooks, but that's really my main collecting staple these days. Screen Factory, I guess. Um, Screen Factory just announced, as just like an aside, they just announced their, uh, their newest collector's edition, and it's the Green Inferno, which, I mean, th that movie sucked. <laughs> and it's what, from 2017? Anyway, I'm just complaining. Why, why would you? Why, there are so many other films out there that you could make of a collector's edition. Well, who cares? What, what do you guys care? I'm just complaining because it's still on my mind, and I don't understand. Although the artwork is pretty cool, so for the collector's edition, that's kind of cool. But uh, what the hell am I talking about? Thank you for watching, guys. This is Halloween 2018 steelbook version. I don't remember if there was another special like edition. Is it? Does the Target have one? I don't think so. Is this the only special? Maybe it is. 
Like, there's no other, like... Yeah, anyway. This is the Steelbook from Best Buy. I'm glad I got it. It's actually Saturday right now, so I got it real early. Um, but um, I'm not going to probably upload this until Monday. So if you're watching this, it's probably on Monday or beyond. Thank you for watching, guys. I will talk to you later. I'm just not going to stop talking, apparently. So see you later, guys. i got more stuff coming. But until then, uh, thanks for watching, and bye.